I honestly don't care what you think about climate change. I don't care if you think it's the biggest existential crisis of our time, or if you think it's an overblown hoax. I don't care if you're a hardcore activist or a complete skeptic, because in the end, there's something far more important that unites us. Something that goes beyond political debates, beyond facts and figures, beyond who's right and who's wrong. And if you stay with me for just a few minutes, I'll show you why none of that matters. In the four years I've been making videos for Leave Curious, I've never made one specifically about climate change. That might seem strange considering so much of my work is about restoring nature, rewilding landscapes and bringing back biodiversity. But here's why. I hate a problem without a solution. And too often when we talk about climate change, it's framed as an overwhelming catastrophe. It's too big, too distant, too complex, and frankly, the conversation is exhausting. It's incredibly divisive. People just dig into their sides and instead of talking about what we can do, what we can do to be proactive, we just argue. So I avoid it because my goal with Leave Curious has always been to show people the beauty of the natural world, to make people feel something real, to be more curious. Because I believe that if you can feel a connection to nature, if you can truly experience its wonder, you'll want to restore it, whether or not you believe in climate change. Let me take you back to a moment which really helped shape my perspective on all of this. I was standing in a forest, a temperate rainforest, a place where the air feels different, where the sounds warp around you in layers of rain, wind and rustling leaves. Sunlight filtered through the canopy and for a moment everything felt right. It just, just, it just felt balanced, you know, I felt alive. And I thought, this is what truly matters. Because when we experience nature, not just see it, but when we really feel it, it does something to us. It reminds us that we're part of something bigger. It humbles us, it heals us. And the truth is, whether if you believe that climate change is a crisis or not, I think that we can all agree on that we need more forests, that we need more wild spaces, that we need more nature. Because nature isn't just about regulating the planet's systems. It's about what it does for us as people. It's about the way we feel when we hear waves crashing against a cliff, when we see an animal in the wild, when we breathe the scent of rain. And this, this is where I believe the real conversation should be. But let's, let's talk about what's happening to these wild places. A recent paper highlights a disturbing trend. The Earth's ability to naturally store carbon through its ecosystems is weakening. And as climate change accelerates, it's only getting worse. But what does this mean? Well, nature is the planet's biggest carbon sink. All natural spaces, all habitats on land and sea pull in carbon and lock it in, absorbing vast amounts of it. But as we degrade these ecosystems through deforestation, pollution, habitat destruction, we're not just losing biodiversity, we're losing one of our greatest defenses against climate change itself. So whether or not you believe in human-induced climate change that we're making this problem worse, I think one thing is undeniable. We are actively and have been actively dismantling the Earth's ability to regulate itself, and that should be a concern for all of us. Because restoring nature isn't just about climate, it's about resilience, it's about clean air, clean water, thriving ecosystems, and places that make us feel alive. It's about forests which enrich our rivers, it's about wetlands which prevent flooding and it's about biodiversities which keep our food system stable. And this, this is where we as individuals can actually have an impact. We can restore nature, we can rewild anywhere. You know, sometimes it's about looking to our spaces and seeing what we can do in our gardens as individuals. And sometimes it's about coming together and working as a collective. That's exactly what I've been doing alongside almost 12,000 others thanks to Planet Wild. Planet Wild crowdfunds for nature restoration and after being part of their community for months, I've been seriously impressed by their work. You might have seen them on YouTube already where they document every one of their rewilding missions. Whether if it's restoring habitats, bringing back lost species or using innovative tech to solve human wildlife conflicts. One of their recent projects, Back Lion Lights, an ingenious solution that helps Kenyan farmers peacefully deter lions from attacking cattle. It's incredible to see how their projects just keep growing and checking out their YouTube channel really is the best way to learn about their work. 
But as a Planet Wild member, you never have to wonder where your money goes. Along with their videos, you get access to an app that keeps you updated on the impact that you're making. This is how we contribute to something bigger than ourselves, and I wanna invite you to sign up. I've got a special offer for you, the first 150 people to sign up using the link down in the description and in the comments will get their first month of membership for free. That means that you can start making a real impact today without spending a penny. And it's not about giving loads, it's about giving what you can because together it all adds up. And look, here's the thing, biodiversity, natural spaces have been in decline and they will still continue to decline. They're not gonna be saved by headlines, they're not gonna be saved by arguing. They're gonna be saved by people who take action. By people who choose to restore nature instead of destroy. By people who understand that nature, its beauty, its raw, untamed presence is worth protecting, no matter what side of the climate debate that, that you fall on. So yeah, I don't care what you think about climate change because I think there is something far bigger that we can agree on. And if we can agree that there is, that, 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 that the planet needs more natural spaces, then we're already on the same side. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe to Leaf Curious. The best way to support Leaf Curious is by becoming a member on Patreon and do go and check out Planet Wild to start contributing to nature restoration today. On the screen now is a video if you want to keep watching the channel, but in the meantime, thanks for watching Leaf Curious. Quite fitting that I had three different types of weather making this video.